So guys, today we're back here at M Toxins Venom Lab, and Mr. Nate has been wonderful enough to actually let us unbox some amazing venomous snakes that just came in from Africa. Yeah. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. Shoot that. 65? 65. This is great. A bear, yeah. Look at this. What are they doing, Kendra? Uh, we're working on dehydrating some of our venom so we can send it up from order. Ooh, this is wow. Yeah, Look so at that's actually oh. the first king cobra Holy that Nate had. This is the first king wow. cobra? Yep. Oh, he's beautiful. Big, wow, too. roller bags. We have not been in this room before. Thank you. Okay, everyone take a guess as to how long this king cobra is and write yeah. it in your comments below. I gotta say seven and a half. Easy. Now it's, and he's still let, silent. I know. Why don't you ask him? Let me show you how Venom's lab made and you'll freak him out. Yeah. So don't touch anything though. Uh, I just speak. Yeah. So oh, wow. this here is one of our orders. Um, so the ones well, we checked off are once yep. a species, I think. Okay. Um, so the checked off ones are Those what? are ones that he's already packaged. Ooh. Uh, we're all set on that. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Now, is there venom in here in that in this one wild? Um, there might be. There might be. I believe Actually, so. there's stuff in here, too. Yeah. I assume. Okay. Yeah. So that's all the dehydrated stuff. We've got our scale in here. Obviously, this is our fume hood, so that none of the dust gets back in Of the face. venom? Yeah. So we have a zebra spitting cobra, eastern diamondback rattlesnake, Ooh. black mamba, um, black and white spitting cobras. It's a lot of cobras right now. Now, are all of these ones that you extracted recently, Nate? Yes, okay. within the last week. Within the last week. Mm -hmm. Because I'm we, to, pur to purify it, yeah. we use the centrifuge over here. And we'll do, we can't show this on um, video, but I'll show Not you. Wow. I like the music. Never been with so many snakes in my life. Well, we so were on the other probably. side last year, remember? Yeah. Whoa. That was good right there. Yep. How did you know? How, I don't know how you know this stuff. These are babies still. Those are babies. Yeah. How old are they? Uh, we're not sure. Oh. They're going to uh, be raised up, though, and used for venom production. So beautiful. Wow. They still have what we call their jungle skin on them. So oh. they still... Once they shed, they'll be a lot different in coloration. Mm. Now, were these like specifically raised, or were they taken from? They were raised. They were raised. Yeah. Goodness, this is one of the skins you gave us, I so think, Nate, for the build up. Yeah, one of the sheds. But these are this. These are saw scale vipers, and these snakes kill more people than any other snake in the world. Wow. So it's important that you need these guys for anti-venom? Yes, for very sure, important. Right? Yeah. What is part of Africa are they from? Yeah. These guys are out of uh, Ghana mm. and Togo. So Nate, are these like venomous snake farms that... These um, are all collected. Yeah, the wild. field the collected. The baboons came from a farm. Oh, got it. Wow. Um, but you can see this is how stuff comes in. So... There's a bunch of uh, carpet vipers in here, green mamas that we have to get out. We've got. Um, oh my oh, goodness! Look at that. You guys are. What are you holding? Um, a desert viper. Desert oh. horn viper. Yeah. Desert horn viper. Look at his. Oh, that's amazing. There are the horns. Oh golly, there are the horns. We've only ever seen them in photos. Yeah. Oh my god. And gosh. then these are really rare snakes. These are called night adders. Night and adders. Uh, we have to unpack those too. Whoa. Yeah. Never heard of a night adder. They're small little vipers and they have a lot of venom. Wow. Now, even at this young age, very dangerous. Yes. Yeah, these mambas, for example, are. These guys are really oh, young, yeah. but they're born deadly. I there's, almost don't even want to bring the camera that close. There's the five of them in there that we need to unpack. Goodness. So do you see how this is red a little bit? Yeah. So the one snake put a little bit of blood in there okay. when it bit, and that's why it's so important that we clean up the venom. Yeah, it the sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Whatever's your routine. Yeah. 
Huh? Do you remember feeding Peanut in here? Oh yeah. The Gaboon Viper? Peanut's the... out there. Peanut's out there now? She's off the bottom line for a bit? We just took these in. Look at that. What is that? Oh. These are wow. wow. Look, these are... Look! Well, I'm trying to get your face too. <laughs> Oh these my just came in. Word. Yeah, a bit ago. Look at that face. Wow. Nick, can I, I get everybody? You need and now the if you're in the frame, I can't get you. Okay, I can't. I I'm not gonna. Now, this is a red bike. How about that? Nick, how much of a strike distance do these people have? Uh, they, can, they can be a little nuts. Yeah. But that's... here, you guys are safe. I'm sure we are. I mean, we're with you, so we're fine. But that, those horns are insane. Uh, what... What I'm going to do is I'm going to extract from these here and then I'm going to need a clear path to put them away in those open tanks. If you touch them, they feel very rough. Mm, you can actually touch. Look, touch. Whoa. Jeff, you gotta touch this. It's very different. Mm. Yeah. Why? Why it's does it have such a? Because yeah. they rub their bodies against themselves. Oh, as a, as a uh, defensive mechanism. Right. But insulation or anything, or do they just get put in those little bags? Sorry, just one second. Let's see if we can get this one to act like the saw scale light. Oh, what? they rub their scales together. Oh. So I'll turn the music off. Yeah, see that? It's just a little yeah. shorter tail yeah. one. She's like, this one's a longer, that one's a longer. Oh. That's all them rubbing their scales together. And egg eating snakes do the same thing. And, they, and that's why they sort of look the same. They do look it's like the same. Yeah. It's that's their true. exactly does that take for it to happen to bleed out it depends on the person uh, sometimes uh, with their bites you'll have a little bit of time before things start to go wrong uh, other times you'll start bleeding and hemorrhaging shortly after a bite if you and I got bit by the same snake it would be two completely different situations right you might be allergic I'm not Mm, anaphylactic shock. Yes, yes, yes. Wasn't there a young venom extractor in South Africa who just that happened to? Um, he. Uh, from a black mamba. Yes, the black mamba, and he was uh, he had anaphylactic shock from it. Yeah. So. You know, it's funny. Some species, the more you work with them, the more you're exposed to 
goes to the venom, you don't even have to get bit. Just inhaling those particles floating around and stuff, you get hypersensitive to it. Wow. Build an immunity Look, Henry, shut up. It's over, it's over 200. You know, after two decades of working with this species, if you were to accidentally be bit, you know, the onset uh, problems might be a lot faster than it had been, you know, the first week you were working right. with it and stuff. So. Wow. Yeah, he does look like a worm. He's small. He's but you can't big. grab him because they're yeah. fangs. You know, fly right out of the side of their head. You like telling that story yeah. of Nate's stiletto uh, yeah. bite. You yeah. still I don't like that story. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff like tells it every time. Nate, Jeff, well, we remember what you told us about the pain. But a sort of harmless snake. Little gray, you know, tiny it, snake, the stiletto. It, it, just, I know. it just doesn't have the, the characteristics, if you yeah. just look at it at a distance, of a viper. I know. Or it something looks pretty that, harmless. That, that, you know, the, yeah. that has the big pit. Uh, yeah glands in its head. Yeah, I hear you. All right, so these are night adders. And uh, they also look unsuspecting. Uh, they look like garden. We never tan them. Never. So double back, meaning... Swing meaning back flip around, backwards. flip backwards. So, so these are vipers. I just tried those. That's a cool snake. I've never seen one of those. Are they um, wild-caught or captive-bred? These are wild-caught. I don't know of anybody anywhere that captive breeds them. But if you want to see, there's one bite. So, there's a lot of them. Are you still extracting more because you think he has more? No, um, are these like showing him the... Shedding? Yeah. Help him get it going a little bit. No, no, exactly. It's like something a starter, a starter snake, right? For a kid. I can totally see how people would go out and pick these up if they didn't know we got it. What did you get for a big surprise? Yeah. Well, a lot of people snakes don't see. It's got scars. Yeah. Why did it have scars like that? Just from being Because it's wild caught and mm. beat up a little bit. And... What an experience this <laughs> is. Like, I'm a speechless. I really am. I know. Could you be here all day? Oh, yes. You're probably close. All could. week, all year. Elders, you've got to make sure they're in an enclosure like that. We yeah. usually bag them. Yeah. They usually come bagged. Okay. Yeah. But not like in a mesh bag. I would think. Sometimes. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. It depends on This is this is amazing. But I see that some of them have a lighter head than others and small uh, some are the same size but have a smaller head. You guys want to learn the gender difference. Okay, so yeah. with bitters, it's actually really easy to tell the sex, especially when they're small like this. Cool. And it all has to do with the base of their tail. You see how long from that point right there, that skinny part? Yes. The length of that, that means that's a female. Now, if you look at this one over here, it starts about right there and it's a lot shorter, right? I'm sorry, the long one would be the male. The short one here would be the female. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, even gaboons from the same litter, they're all gonna have different pigmentations yeah. and things. And so sometimes when they're smaller, you can start to see a little bit of how they're gonna look as adults, right? Yes. Um, so this one here, compared to some of these other ones, she's got more of a pink tint to her. Yeah. So she's gonna have a lot of pinks as she grows and gets older. Um, versus some of these other ones that are going to stay. A lot of them will get some pinks to them, but um, some of them, like this bigger guy here, he's going to be a little bit darker. He's going to stay kind of dark. Yes. Yeah, so um, th why the difference in the looks? Some are pink, some are uh, darker. Is that just to match, like, different leaf colors? Genetics. It's just, uh, yeah, Genetics. it depends a lot on what dad and mom gives each baby. Um, so like these guys will yeah. give birth to babies that are alive. They're ovoviviparous, which means they have eggs, but the eggs actually are hatch eggs inside of them. Yeah, yeah. They hatch internally. So they give birth to live animals that come out in biotic sex. Um, you, know, you know, if this all came from the same female, this would be a litter of gaboons. And now that's yeah. not unrealistic. Gaboons have large litters, right? Most yeah. of snakes do have very large litters. Uh, well, the gaboon vipers themselves are not like a, they're stocky. We've they seen stocky. the we've seen stocky. the one that Nate took out the last time, mm -hmm. but they're not huge. 
So it's hard to believe how many she would. Oh yeah, yeah. How well, many and she so would. it's like there's in captivity. A lot of times people don't even have a good idea of how big they can get because they don't see adults too mm. often. So these animals can hit six, seven feet. I mean, they're it's the heaviest viper in the world. They can get you know this wide. And wow. Huge, huge animals. And so litter sizes. Um, you know, anywhere from 20, 60 babies sometimes. Wow. Also, yeah, yeah. Seen and heard us with three pretty large uh, litters from gaboons, pup adders, rhino vipers, things like that. Also, in the wild, are these guys like highly endangered or are they nope, least all. concerned? Every species we've got have very, very stable populations in the wild. You are. You'll be like Dave in no time. What? <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not even anyone's better than Dave. Oh, I just got painted. You feel that cool mist in the air? <laughs> oh man, that was gross. That's not a cicada. Cicada. <laughs> There's a reason they said stay way back here. <laughs>